Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to cover quite a few things but the main topic of this video is going to be creating a dynamic image gallery in Microsoft Excel. This does use a little bit of VBA but there isn't a whole lot of code but to give you a quick demonstration on what this application does you have an image selection here. We can select image 1, 2, or 3. In this case I'm just going to do select image 2 and that will take us to this next image and then change the caption. To, these are inkblot popular responses for this image or um, option number three. Uh, again, I'll change the image and these are the ink blot popular responses. I'm going to go on and select back to the first item. So in order to create this, there are a couple of things that are being done. First off, if you are interested in learning how to do this, go ahead and proceed with the video and I'm going to explain to you step by step how to create this same system. So first off, in my developers tab, I'm going to go to design mode. That way, if I click anything, the image won't load, but this will still change because we're using VLOOKUP, which doesn't use any kind of macros. But the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is this part. Image, all, all we did was type an image here in cell B3. Nothing too complicated. In C3, we are using a data validation list. And to set that up, you need to, of course, first create a list. And the list that I'm using is in my configuration tab. And the way I created that list was I highlighted one, two, and three. I'm actually using more than that, but I'm going to go to my name manager in the formula tab. I created menu list and that refers to A2 to A15. And the way you create this list, if you're not familiar on how to create this kind of list, this range list, all you do is you highlight what you want to create with the range. In this case I want to do A2 to A15 and then in your address bar box, your, the name box, you're just going to type in the, the name that you want. In this case I picked menu list. And once you set that up and hit menu list, you go to C3 and you go to your data tab and click data validation, data validation. Under allow you select list and you type in under source equals menu list or the name of of the um, the source range that you created. So I'm going to go on and hit OK. This image right here, if you see the name is image 1, this is an ActiveX control found in the Visual Basic environment. So go to your Developers tab. Under Insert, ActiveX Controls, all you do is you draw the image onto the sheet. And the way this one is set up, if we right click it and select Properties, the mode that is set into is picture size mode is set to stretch because the actual image that I have here is, is much larger than this image right here. And this section over here is a VLOOKUP and what we're doing is that we're looking at this item, this whatever's entered right here, and we're searching, that's where C3 is by the way, we're searching the configuration sheet for this specific um, item and looking at column number two. So let me show you really quick how to set this up. In the configuration sheet, what I did was I created an index number, index one, two, and three, the description, and the image that pertains to this image. So this first picture is image one, second is image two, and the third image three. And all this is doing right here is there is an if statement in here, but I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take off the if statement and just do a VLOOKUP. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So all we're doing is VLOOKUP looking at C3, vertical lookup, and looking at this table, column number two. And then all we're doing is that false means is that it's an approximate, it's an exact match. So if I comma, we're doing false, which means exact match. And the reason why I have an if statement in there, in there though, is I'm going to show you something. If I was to select, let's just say if I was to put a 5 in here, we're going to get this error. And instead of having that, what we can do is we can do if error. I know this isn't my original code, but I'm going to put if error, then the if the error goes here, just leave it blank. And I close that out. So now 5 comes up with blank if I was to type in an 8 which we don't have anything for index 8 in the configuration sheet it'll just be blank but if we put 1 let me C3 
select the one we get the text back so that's all the if error does that's all the if error formula does now the configuration sheet let me kind of exit out let me do control Z for any reason you make an error just do control Z to undo go to my configuration sheet to create the images I did the same thing uh, these are ActiveX controls insert ActiveX control and do um, the image ActiveX control drag them on it's this one is image one image two and image three now there are a couple of ways to do this you could create another column let's just say um, right here and put where these files are located on your computer and load up those files but in this case I didn't do that all I did was I selected the image right click it and select properties and from here I actually under picture you, ch you choose the bitmap and you pick and you pick the image from your computer by doing this though the Excel document is going to save the image within the Excel document it's not going to be worried about if your computer if the files are different if you're on a different computer and you no longer have these files on the computer so I could easily delete image one from my hard drive I'm gonna I'm gonna go on and click yes and I'm just gonna hit cancel on this screen the image does not get in does not get deleted or moved from the Excel document it's staying on here and that's the reason why I did it this way is so that way if for any reason anybody else opens this Excel document on another workstation or computer I don't have to worry about the image actually being on that hard drive because in this case it's stored to the Excel document so now I'm gonna go back to my home tab and so the the next thing that you might be wondering is how does the image change whenever I I select this option and so I'm gonna take us out of design mode if I pick again image 2 the picture changes if I was to pick 3 again the image will change and the way this is being completed is through the visual basic environment the worksheet change option so this is gonna require some macros I'm gonna click design mode design mode just means we're in we're into development mode no code will run when I select 1 2 or 3 I'm going to go to the Visual Basic environment. And what I did is I selected Sheet 1, the sheet that I'm working with. And on your left hand side, this combo, this drop down box, you're going to select Worksheet. And then you're going to select Change for the change event. So anytime there's a change on the workbook, this code is executed. And the, the only thing that we're looking for is cell C3. We want to know when C3 is modified. So we do if target dot address is equal to, and then you're going to use um, the dollar C dollar three. That's the lock cell that we're looking at. Then, and then what we do is I created a variable that says item input is equal to sheet one dot range C three. All we're doing here is saying that item input is this value. And then so on the next three lines of code, all we're doing is if item input is equal to one, then sheet one this sheet right here the home sheet is sheet one we see that right here towards the left sheet one is home sheet one dot image one dot picture is equal to the sheet three dot image one dot picture if you look over here towards the left sheet three is the configuration sheet and we're just assigning it respectively this is uh, for one this is for two and this is for three and then that's just end if and that's really all this code does so now I mean, you can easily you can take yourself out of design mode select an option and the image changes so again this is a real quick video on how to create a dynamic image gallery hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching